this time let's continue to work on this antenna from where we left off that is the addition of the gamma match and the tuning stub so this antenna has now a gamma match connected to it on the VHF side in the tuning stub also a gamma match in the tuning stub on the UHF side it's now connected by the pacing harness running to the feed line it's an RG8 coaxial cable going to the vector impedance analyzer so but first take a look at my cat she's Miss, Mrs. Mau 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 she's pregnant so there must be another addition to the brood okay let's continue so let's check the frequency response of this 3x5 cross Yagi antenna for intended operation it's amateur band frequency from 144 to 148 and on the UHF side it's from 430 to 440 megahertz the center on both Yagi's on the VHF side it's 145 uh, megahertz it's 145 megahertz and on the UHF side it's 435 megahertz so usually the design of this antenna are complementary from the VHF side you need to compute the third harmonic frequency on the UHF side so that the length of the pacing harness would be equal so let's check the frequency response let's turn on the vector analyzer so this is the individual frequency response we are on 145 megahertz as we can see it's it's 145.5 it's 1.1 so let's move to the center frequency by adjusting the knob so <clears throat> the center frequency is showing 1.0 SWR on VHF side it's about uh, 49.64 ohms or about 50 ohms uh, impedance so let's move on individual frequency response on the UHF side so let's move to 435 So our center frequency on UHF is showing 1.173 on 435 MHz. Mm, let's check the lower frequency which is 430. So let's move going down. 434 is 1.3. 433 is 1.5. 432 is 1.7 431 is 1.9 and 430 is 2 is to 1 so let's move up now so from 436 it's 1.2 437 is 1.4 438 is 1.6 439 is 1.7 and 440 is 1.8 almost uh, the same frequency response from starting from the center going up and going down it's about 2 is to 1 SWR on both sides 
on the center frequency the impedance is about 45 ohms so fairly accept, uh, acceptable result on both the VHF and the UHF side so let's check the frequency response of this antenna from 140 let's say 140 or 142 so let's move down 144 is 1 1.1 143 is 1 point, 143 is 1.3 142 is 1.4 141 is 1.4 and 140 is 1.2 so let's move up going to 148 so 146 is 1.1 147 is 1.2 148 is 1.3 149 is 1.2 and 150 is 1.1 almost the same frequency response let's check the SWR carb on the VHF band so as we can see from this uh, VSWR carb we have 1.0 at 145 megahertz our carb is showing us about 1.5 to 1.3 from the intended frequency of 140 to 150 so let's check the frequency response of this antenna on the UHF side. I just need to adjust the readout on the analyzer. So let's move this to the UHF band. So let's start with going to 440 440 let's set this to 440 The low band is 140. Let's move it to the center frequency to Let's do it again. Let's adjust this to 435. So that's our frequency response of this antenna on. Oh, wait. 
we also move the low band so it's on it should be on 430 430 okay 430 so from 430 to 440 we have an SWR response so about twist one and the center frequency 435 MHz is 1.1 SWR a fairly acceptable SWR response of this 3x5 element cross Yagi antenna 